Hey, it's Ashley from Fleet Feet, and today I'm here to talk to you about the brand new Carhu Econi Ortix 2020. Okay, before I go any further, please be sure to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. Also, call out to download the Fleet Feet Rewards app. There's a link in the description below. We have some really exciting things happening on the app in 2020. Really cool story about this shoe. Carhu is our in-house brand sold only at Fleet Feet. Scan data from our customers was used to create the last and build the shoe. We used data like heel width, instep height, and four foot height to create this shoe that fits a wider variety of customers. And the latest iteration, the 2020, fits even better than the version before. Let's get into the specs. It retails at Fleet Fee for $130. It comes in at 8.9 ounces for a women's size eight and 10.9 ounces for a men's sample size 10 with an eight millimeter heel to toe drop for both the men's and women's shoes. It's a neutral everyday trainer, ideal for the road and track. Let's jump into fit and materials. The two biggest updates to the shoe this year are the new fit and feel of the upper and also the addition of a high volume or wide option. I have an average width foot and I found the original to be roomy enough, but I also felt really comfortable in the high volume option. So I would encourage you to try on both and see what you like more, just depending on how much room you like to have for your toes to display. The engineered knit mesh upper is smooth and silk-like and feels almost like a sock, especially around the heel collar. It feels really good and has just the right amount of stretch. This overlay is an M for mastery, mastery, which means champion and finish. All right, let's get into the fit, which feels secure thanks to a few key features. The first thing we'll talk about is the lacing system, a standard lacing system with an extra eyelid here, which is ideal if you want to do the marathon lacing loop technique to help secure your heel even more. While the laces lace up in a standard pattern, they are slightly offset, you'll notice here. They curve slightly to the lateral or outside side of the shoe, which creates more of an ergonomic fit and helps you to secure the shoe in a really natural way that's going to be comfortable. The design here really hugs your heel nicely. So if you have a narrow heel, this is a really good option for you. It also doesn't put any pressure on your Achilles. The arch inside the shoe, I guess the best way to describe it is it's kind of mellow. I found it to be the right amount of pressure underneath my arch. It didn't feel overly stiff or obtrusive. We also have the standard Carhu Fulcrum technology. They describe it as a pivot point in the shoe, which really helps transition you from your landing to your toe off and reduce the amount of energy that you utilize with each step. It also helps to reduce side to side oscillation, which helps you bounce less with each stride and therefore move forward more efficiently. So the heel and the midfoot feel very stable in the shoe, but the forefoot offers some more flexibility and give, which does create a nice propulsive feeling toe off. You can notice here how flexible it is in the front and how stiff it is in the back. Top three favorite things about this shoe. Number one, the addition of the high volume option for wider feet, which offers a roomier toe box for those that need it. Number two, the responsiveness of the midsole foam. Number three, the fulcrum technology, which helps you have a smooth transition from landing to toe off. I recommend this shoe for regular everyday training and maintenance runs and for longer runs and workouts. Thanks for watching. <laughs>